Hey guys, welcome to my channel. So today I filmed a different style of butt workout where I'm focusing mainly on isolation movements. So isolation is when you are isolating just one muscle. You're trying to only target that one muscle at a time. So obviously we're just hitting our butt. Usually my workouts are really focused around compound moves where you're hitting more than just your butt. You're hitting your glutes, AKA your butt, your quadriceps and your hamstrings. Like it's really hard to target just your butt and without hitting your thighs too. But here I'm really focused on just hitting my glutes, waking up my glutes. A couple of these exercises will be firing your hamstrings as well, but your glutes will be firing way harder. If you're finding you're having a really hard time feeling your butt on the bigger lifts, like squats and deadlifts and lunges, if you're feeling mainly your thighs and not your butt, I'd really recommend doing this style of workout once a week to really get your butt used to just firing. So these are my current favorite isolation exercises. I um, didn't get super sore from this workout. I find when I do more isolation moves, I really feel it that day. Like I left the gym being like, yes, I felt I'm gonna feel sore tomorrow, but I usually don't. It's usually the bigger lift days that I get sore the next day or the next couple days. But I really felt it when I left the gym, like my butt cheeks felt like they were just cramped, which is an awesome feeling. You know that you really targeted that area. Anyway, try out these exercises, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up, and let's get to the workout. As always, the exercises that I perform here, the reps and the sets, will be listed down below. But here I started off with like a side walk. So I have the band around my feet, and then I cross it over to get more tension. I'm holding it up by my hands. I'm trying to keep my hips steady when I walk. So I'm speeding it up so we can get through faster, but I did about like 60 walks. Just trying to keep my hips steady, really getting my glutes to fire. And then my second exercise with just these side leg lifts. I actually really like this exercise. I just put, you know, about a 30 pound dumbbell on my thigh and I go as high as I can. So here I'm almost getting like up by my hip and I'm just letting the weight kind of hang on my thigh. So I'm not like pulling it up with my hand, I'm just supporting it on my thigh. I'm still making sure to keep my core engaged because you don't want to like arch your back and really feel like any tension in your low back. You really just want to get your butt to fire. Even then your hips kind of go in a little bit, like to the left right there. I find that really activates uh, the glute that's on the ground. The next move, these are called um, cable pull-throughs. They're kind of like a standing hip thrust, which I really like them because they don't put any pressure on your hip joint. Here I'm speeding it up a little bit um, just so we can get through faster again. But I'm just keeping my back flat. My heels are still digging the ground and I'm just feeling the stretch in my hamstrings and squeezing my butt forward as much as I can. I go pretty heavy here. I think I was lifting about 100 pounds. And then this is called the reverse hyper machine. It's like the back extension, except the different angle, like having your feet up by your hips, I find really hits your butt way more. So I prefer this machine over the back extension, but the back extension is great too. Here, I try not to go up too high, even rounding my shoulders in a little bit will help me feel my butt more. I just focus on squeezing, and I did really high reps, just focusing on the squeeze today. And lastly, I did two mat exercises. I always feel this one like so much. So pretty much I'm trying to keep my leg as straight as I can, but my butt was kind of burning, so my knee gets bent a little bit. I'm trying to reach across one foot and then come up by the side of my hip. So I'm just kind of waking up every part of my glute. So I do a high rep uh, version of these. I find staying on my elbows actually helps really engage my glute here. So I'm trying to circle up as high as I can. So I can make a big arch circle. And then on that same leg, I do this one-legged glute bridge. So I cross over my other leg so it's totally out of the picture. You know, I don't have to think about stabilizing it. I'm just firing that one glute um, that I just worked with the previous exercise. And that's it. I go on to the other side and that's the workout. 
Anyway, this was my second leg workout of the week. You know, I just go by how I'm feeling. There was no way I felt like doing big moves, big compound moves. I didn't feel like doing deadlifts and squats or lunges. And if you're not feeling that on your first leg day of the week, don't do it. This is a great style of workout. The main thing you want to do is be consistent over time. If you're working to build your butt, there's no one perfect workout. All you need to do is consistently do butt workouts every week over a few months and you'll see some awesome results you know I try to hit it twice a week I hope you try out some of these moves and what I do sometimes is I'll take one isolation move and I'll add it to a bigger lift day so I might do you know a few big moves like squat variations deadlift variations and I might throw in one or two of these kind of exercises at the end when I don't have as much energy that's definitely a way to do it you know if you're feeling like doing a certain style of workout do it you know do it listen to your inner voice your inner body will help you become the healthiest fittest version of you you know if it's telling you hey you know what i really want to do arms today maybe you should listen i really don't feel like hitting your legs today i just don't have the energy listen the more you listen to your body and try to give it what it needs the more it's gonna become what you want it to right try to listen to that inner voice oh i'm really craving you know a carb meal have a carb meal, you know, maybe the next meal after that have some protein. But if your body's telling you it needs something or it doesn't really want something, you've got to listen. Like if you're looking at this piece of chicken and you're like, I really don't want it, don't eat it. Eat something else. Like listen to your body. It is telling you what it needs. The human body is so complex and very smart. It wants to become healthy. It wants to detox. It wants to build muscle. It wants to be strong. If you listen to it, you will improve. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.